Good Day Move Fitness. Happy Sunday, soul session here. Let's let's take the mask off, right? How are you guys liking these things, huh? It's a little tough to get used to. They got, uh, man, pluses and minuses, right? It's all about adaption, changing, adapting as human beings, as partners in relationships and business. It's all about that adaption. And... You know and what we say and what we do my name is Chansey I'm gonna be doing your Sunday soul session for today thank you for joining me a uh, beautiful day today oh my gosh how many blessings are out there right now tons 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 and you know that's one of the uh, things I kind of want to focus on today is things that are coming out of our mouth things that we're saying things that we're doing how that truly affects us because it's really it I mean virtually impossible to conceal who we are like our words will eventually reveal exactly what's stored uh, in our hearts and in our minds and while we're not always aware of it right every time we say something it says something about us so for me this took me a while um, I mean, I want to I wanna be positive, right? But at the beginning of my life, I didn't really care about whatever the heck came out of my mouth. And I still struggle to this day sometimes, I'm not going to lie, constantly moving on it. But we'd all be a little bit wiser to closely examine really what's coming out of our mouths. You know, what we say, and importantly, you know, body language associated with that. And what is that really uncovering about us as human beings and as people and how we want to be perceived and remembered uh there's you know that saying of if i mean if you passed away today what would people have put on your your tombstone right this person was a real jerk uh this person made me feel special every single day this person was a hard worker this person was lazy this person always complained this person always had something great to say and if we start living our lives like that, then we have the opportunity to not only set out in that community what we truly, really want to give off, but our generations to come have that opportunity to learn from us. Because again, we're just going to be feeding these kids habits. Okay. And these, you know, younger employees and, and younger people at maybe at work that you work with, maybe you have kids, uh, nieces, nephews, which I have. I don't have any kids yet, um, but you know, you, you get that opportunity to, to to influence these kids, and it's very special, and very empowering, very scary, um, extremely scary, and I and I I can't imagine. Uh, what I'm going to be feeling, you know, when, when my first kid pops out and how terrifying I'm sure I'm going to be. But we have that impact, right? It, it, it's pretty awesome. And, you know, kind of growing up and um, playing sports and doing a lot of coaching, right? Let's kind of get into what are we talking about. Well, as a coach, as a parent, as an uncle, aunt, as a boss, we have the ability to impact people. And if I'm gonna ask my kids who I'm coaching, hey, who do you, you know, if, if you had column A, the most positive coach ever, and column B, one of the toughest, meanest coaches who never had anything great to say, which one would you rather play for? Hands down, every single time. One of the best coaches, the empowering ones, the, the funds that were, the ones that were excited. If some people don't have two people to choose from, then I'll say, what do you remember most about, you know, when your coach is coaching you, right? Your prior coach. And it was, well, I'm not doing this right. And if I didn't make this play, this was going to happen. And if I didn't do this and it was negative, negative, they're yelling at me, they're blaming me, they're lying, they're laughing at me. Uh, there's sarcasm, there's name calling, right? Versus what you want 
what you want your child to have, which is that praise, that sincere compliments, that encouragement, that thankful, that truthful, that honest, the sympathy, like everything, humor, laughter. People want that, yet we ourselves can find our, our communication styles and what we're giving off in this negative column. And we want to pull out of that negative column and put into that positive column. And we need to start with us. It's always looking in the mirror and saying, okay, what, what can I do different? Because if I don't change, how can I expect somebody else to change? If I don't change, how am I going to expect my kid when they come home and all they do is complain about school and about work and I mean work, school work and the kids on the playground and the people on the bus and my teacher and my bus driver and everybody, the recess, everybody. And it's all negative. I mean, we got to look ourselves in the mirror and go, okay, what, is that a one time or is that every single day? And then if that's every single day, what am I giving off? Right? Am I at home complaining about my boss? Am I complaining about my spouse? Am I complaining about my neighbors? Am I complaining about the dog? Am I complaining about other kids? Like, what am I complaining about constantly day in and day out? Is that what they're overhearing is that gossip and that complaining? And, you know, it, it took me a long time to really learn the importance of, you know, kind of gracious, I'll say that uh, with a smile, because uh, there's not a whole lot about me that is graceful, uh, but gracious language, um, and I'm still learning. And when I started to improve myself, thought process and the words that came out of my mouth, I really noticed a lot of um, empowering, uh, you know, empathetic um, mentors, employees, people, friends, who wanted to be more near me, who wanted to be closer. And, you know, and don't misunderstand having to confront people and you gotta have sometimes a, the hard truth and, and express your emotions. Um, but really what comes out of your mouth truly again reveals everything that's in your heart. And if you don't feel like right now that's going so well, you have the opportunity to one, be aware of it, and two, proceed with change. Change that mindset, right? We've done tons of journaling together over this entire pandemic. Um, we've done tons of trying building relationships or letting go of relationships. We've talked about, um, gosh, uh, uh, how to let go of negative influences in your life and you know, tons of stuff, and I mean, it, this one, it's just going to 100% come down to you looking in that mirror and going, what do I want to be remembered by, right? On my tombstone, what do I, what do I want? Do I want to be motivational, empowering, exciting, fun, um, encouraging, Laughter, a comedian, you know, bring people smiles and hope and, and, and again, encouragement. Or, you know, do I want to be a hard ass? Do I want to be negative? Do I always want to find the wrong in everything? Do I always, am I, always, am I going to bring people down so I can bring myself up? Or am I going to bring up so many people and help them get what they want that eventually I'll get what I want? And I can't say that that's my quote. You know, that is a, um, I believe that's Jim Rohn that said, if not, it might be John Maxwell. I think it's Jim Rohn. If you get enough people what they want, you will eventually get what you want. And, you know, s saying what you say, what you think, what you do, it tells all about who you truly are. And you can't fake it forever, right? I definitely know some people in my life currently that try and fake it with other people. And then what they say to me behind closed doors in small groups, oh my gosh. I mean, even when they try and fake it, like people know when you're being fake. People know when, when you're not being true to who you are, right? They understand that, you know, it eventually 
that cream rises to the top, okay? You eventually get exposed for who you truly really are. And again, man, it, if that's surrounding you, like it's, you know, has surrounded me before, you gotta get out of that. Cause you know, those, those, like in our prior conversations, man, that neg those negative influences are really gonna start dragging you down and your mind's gonna start changing. So, you know, you gotta change. So you guys, um, I hope you're still journaling, right? Every morning, every night, Sunday is your opportunity to look back on the week what went well, what didn't go well, and then set yourself up for a great week. And again, we're not going to go over the journal today. If you guys have questions on the journal and don't understand even what I'm talking about, um, we just have been going over journaling in general. Uh, I use a specific one. You can check our previous Sunday Soul Sessions and, and find out exactly what I'm talking about. Head back to early March, and you can start from the beginning and, and watch these short little you know, 10 to 20 minute sessions where we spend time getting our mind right. And now we're gonna talk about getting our mouths right. You know, if our, if our head's right, what we say, what we do, our actions tell our entire story. And what do you want on that too? How do you wanna be remembered by? So you guys, I hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. Beautiful weather, get out there, enjoy it. Be blessed, stay safe, stay strong. We'll get through this together, I promise. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you again so much, all those first responders, medical, military. We really appreciate you guys putting your lives on the line to keep us safe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.